Oh boy. I had to do that switcheroo really fast. I'm sure you saw my desktop for a quick second. We'll see. It says I'm live. It still is. I'm still showing my desktop, but uh, we'll see. Here's the game. <laughs> Silent Hunter 4 does not like to be streamed, it seems. So, that's kind of irritating. Uh, welcome, Captain Pet... Picado. I probably butchered that. Hey, what's up, Erwin? And Finish, of course, who made the beautiful thumbnail as well. Alright, so we're going to get started here with some Fall of the Rising Sun. And so we are obviously doing the Fleet Boat campaign. Alright, we need to... Well, we're going to start at the beginning of the war. Um, go ahead and shoot your best captain names at me while I go ahead and get this all settled up. So we'll start on December 8th, 1941 as part of the Asiatic Fleet. And we'll go in a porpoise class submarine. Yeah, Davio, <laughs> it is kind of an odd time to stream, I know. Yeah. It's probably it's one of the best times for me. Uh you can check out Subsim Brock, that's generally a good place. Are you using JSGME? Is it saying the mod's enabled? Captain Soldano? Soldano? I'm butchering this. I'm... Oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough night. <clears throat> yeah, I would check out Subsim. There's quite a few tutorials there, Brock. If you couldn't follow mine. Alright. So I'm thinking Asiatic, uh, Porpoise class, maybe I can do a Salmon or something. Oh, no worries. Yeah, and this stream probably isn't going to last too long. Alright, we're just going to, we're just going to name him Joe, Captain Joe. All right, and all right, Lieutenant Commander Joe, you have been approved for the command of the USS Pike, a porpoise-class submarine assigned to the Asiatic Fleet. Report to uh, duty at, at Naval Base Manila. All right, gentlemen. Yeah, we've already seen that. No worries, Davia. No worries, Andy. All right, so here's the USS Pike. Looks like we have quite a bit of crew already. Um. I'll go ahead, yeah, and these guys will be moved into the deck gun as we need them. Perfect. Well, I figured I'd do a little, something a little bit different, Indy. Um, I actually already have a series with the S-Boat on my channel, so I figured I'd uh, do something. Slightly different gameplay settings. We're going to run, we want external view. What we'll run with, we'll have the map contact updates. Hey, what's up, Miko? All right, I think this looks good. Our boat is pretty fine. We don't really have any equipment or anything since it is the very start of the war. We have a 50 caliber machine gun for anti-aircraft defense. JP listening sonar, uh, WCA sonar gear, and it uh, looks like we do have air search radar, SD radar. Yeah, it, it's a while ago. It's well over maybe a year and a half old. Maybe closer to two years now, Indy. Hello, Odif. In this mod, I don't think I have the proper program installed. Yeah, you just need JSGME. Whoa, what is going on with this? Bending effect. All right. Oh my goodness, this is small. As poor orders, comm sub pack AF, which I'm yeah, Asiatic fleet. You are to proceed to the Hong Kong area and concentrate on reconnoitering the approaches of the same to the same patrol the area for at least 10 days. Non-continuous. We expect Japanese aggression directed towards Hong Kong, but do not know whether by land or by sea. You may also see IGN groups heading for other locations. Report enemy activity accurate, accurately when safe and practical to do so. The skipper has his own discretion to guide his attacks. Update your status when appropriate. 
All right, so we're supposed to patrol the Hong Kong area for 10 days. Oh my goodness. With this new monitor of mine, that text is super small. Holy cow. All right, go to the Philippines and start. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Mikhail. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, the the uh, full screen mod is the ARB GUI, Brock. Like I said, subsim's a pretty good resource. Anyway, here's our boat. White roomy compared to our U-boat. All right, let's go ahead and go topside. Well, there's quite a few people on. Welcome to Manila, everybody. And there we have our 50 caliber machine gun for anti-aircraft defense. Beautiful. All right, there's a couple of aircraft flying overhead. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get underway then. Yes, I'll head two thirds and uh, let's change course slightly so we don't hit that other New boat course. right in front of us. Alright. Yeah, I might have to. Let's see. So we'll head up along the coast of Luzon here into this area. Yes, sir. Were they P-47s? I don't know what they were. I couldn't really make them out. Oh, there's a Catalina, though. Hello. God, I would love a flight sim with this in it. I'm going to take a look at the harbor for a little bit. Yep, that's the that's the plan to finish. That's why I'm going up the coast to lose on. Hopefully I can run into one of them. Uh sir booms a lot? I I feel like the interiors are Oh, is that boat leaving port as well? That's cool. I think the interiors are pretty accurate. I'm not too sure. Oh, this is not my boat. That's another boat. This is my boat. Ship spotted. Bearing six. Short range. Yeah, welcome, Kent, to the stream. Yeah, I guess they could have been P-47s. I don't know. I kind of thought they were just a uh, wildcast or something. I don't know, though. They very well could be. Uh, this game. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, odd things slip in here and there. All right. Go ahead and get out of Manila. Looks like we're only going yes, four knots. I'm pretty sure this mod actually limits your top speed in port. Well, we can go ahead and use some time compression and get the hell out of here. Yeah, sure thing, Chris. You completely uninstall and then install to do this mod. Yeah, I did a fresh, fresh installation. I have multiple installs of Hunter 4. So I have this on one install and then uh, the Dark Waters mod on another. And then Trigger Maru on a third. Hey, what's up, Kensi? Kensai? Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Radio man, immediate action required. All right, all submarines are reminded that you are to remain submerged, except as to charge batteries during night hours. With poor visibility, whenever, with poor visibility, whenever within 500 nautical miles of enemy airbase, you are also to use one engine on the surface to conserve fuel. You are also to husband your torpedoes and only use that which is necessary to accomplish the task. All right, well. We all know how the torpedo thing is. That is one thing I do wish was in these uh, games. Um, running on one engine and things like that. 
I know it's in Silent Hunter 5. They finally added it with that, but, uh... Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a tool called Multi-SH4 that I use, uh, Mr. Mojack. When is the Japanese submarine campaign? I don't know. That'd be an interesting game. Uh, who knows? There's a mod, but it uses the regular, like, this is the interior of the boat. So, I mean, the exterior model is a Japanese submarine. That's as much as they can do. Hey, thanks, Mark. Uh, Davio asks, what are my opinions of SH-5? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you'll ever see it on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of it. Alright, so here we go. China has officially declared war on Japan. Alright, there's a report warship somewhere. I gotta say, I bumped the res resolution of this game up to 1440. And it looks nice, but man, this UI, is there, there's not a UI scaling in this game, I don't think. It's just, it's just so tiny. New message received. Uh, this is Silent Hunter 4, I've been playing Silent Hunter 3, Mark. There was an old World War I sub-game called Shells of Fury. It wasn't very good, though. Where do I go? We're gonna head in here just to, just to see. Who knows? I'll slow down as well. Hey, what's up, Captain Tom? All right, let's go ahead and dive to periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Oh, this is single player. Yes, periscope depth. A nice looking boat. I always love the look of the American boats, even with the bathtub conning tower. <sighs> My favorite U boat? Probably just the Type 7 boats. I find them the most interesting. There's actually a mod. Um, <laughs> that's currently work in progress, Vince, called Wolves of the Kaiser. I believe that's what it's called. And they are working on uh, making Silent Hunter 4, turning it into a World War One U-boat simulation. Which seems interesting. And I will definitely play that when it comes out. So I'm going to pitch something real fast. I was thinking, okay, that's just our engines we're hearing back there. I was thinking of doing a, like, instead of like a let's play or whatever of this game, doing like it, a streaming series. So every, like, whatever day, Thursday night, for example, it wouldn't be Thursday night, but just for an example, I'd stream this game and uh, we'd go through. And it'd be like a series. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But anyway, I, I was thinking of doing that. Because I do want to bring Silent Hunter 4 to the channel. But I don't want to have two Silent Hunter series going at once. Oh, as a matter of fact, that's all I have, Fong. I only have Mark 14s. What's up, Deacon? Just playing some Silent Hunter 4. 
Uh, SH4 is not a buggy mess compared to Silent Hunter 5. You like the idea, Indy? That's good to hear. Yeah, it would be put up on the channel, Captain Tom. Yeah, I would definitely try to make it a, a weekly thing and make it consistent. I like SH3 better, but SH4 is in close second, Mike. Okay, good to know that there's interest in that idea. Yeah, SH5 is a hot mess. That's an understatement. You know, and I am... I was looking at it. I was like, man, maybe I should play this on the channel, but... I know I'm just going to <laughs> bitch and moan the entire time I play it. <laughs> and, you know, I, I just don't think... If I'm not enjoying myself, I doubt you guys will. You want to see a full campaign of an American boat? You don't want me to die like last time? Oh, we have a merchant contact. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure, yeah, the full interiors for the Type 7 are nice, but honestly, the Silent Hunter 3 mod with the full interiors I think are better yeah I know I watch Taft's videos but well I, I don't want to talk about turn the stream into a Silent Hunter 5 roasting session but uh Silent Hunter 5 launched and the game ended in 1943 <laughs> like what the hell that's so stupid. And, and their their explanation was, oh, well, the war was over by for the U-boats by 1943. I mean, the whole... The appeal to Silent Hunter 3 from a, a game... Or just any U-boat simulator. From a game-making perspective is it has a natural, like, difficulty curve. Oh, this is a friendly ship, apparently. Yeah, I was actually going to probably play some U-Boat for the channel um, this week. Radio message? Oh. All submarines are to remain submerged during... Yeah, okay, they just keep sending that message. Some indie dev just needs to make a spiritual successor to Silent Hunter, and I'll die happy. I mean, some of the mods so far with uh, U-Boat are pretty good. Yeah, Wolfpack's amazing, Nick. It's probably the best submarine simulation released in over a decade. Yep, I have indeed read Iron Coffins. It's a good book. Uh, although it does get a lot of criticism. Japanese invasion of Borneo imminent. Request assistance from all patrol craft in the area. Well, we're kind of far from that area, so. Yeah, they added mod support, Indy, to U-Boat. It's not possible in Silent Hunter 3 or 4 with a mod, Kenzie. Unless you're recharging batteries. Yeah, interest, Raven. That's exactly, that's what I was thinking too. I mean, with all the... We seem to have a surge of submarine and naval games in general, so... I am, uh... I am. I remain hopeful. If you asked me ten years ago if I would ever see, you know, a Silent Hunter game, I'd say no. Well, I guess Silent Hunter Five just came out then. 
Okay, so five years. Uh, it's the name of the book, Miriam. It's called Iron Coffin. It's, it's by Herbert Verner. Bring back silent service. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Micropose is back, so they might. Does Wolfpack have a campaign? No, it's a multiplayer game for the most part. Like, it's like Star Trek Bridge Crew. Oh, are you talking about the board game, Nick? I've seen it, but uh, I haven't played it. I'll have to check it out. Alright. U.S. Naval Task Force under Rear Admiral Frank J. Fletcher sets sail from Pearl Harbor with orders to relieve Wake Island. I do like having the messages here. It's nice. I don't have to flip to another screen. No, I didn't, Jackson. And thank you, AI buddy. Welcome to the stream, man, and welcome to the channel. Alright, we're hanging out in the area now. We'll see if we actually uh, encounter anything out here. Yep, the war just started here. I'm supposed to stay here for 10 days. Holy cow. Manila Bay dock area under constant air attack. Effective immediately. Asiatic submarines will shift base of operations to Sarabaya, Java. At completion of current assignments. All submarines are currently using Manila Bay. All submarines currently using Manila Bay for refuel refit must submerge by day and perform surface maintenance at night. It's hitting the fan, folks. Uh, this one's just newer, speedy, really. Uh, it has more improvements. Yeah, there is a mod like that, Kenshi. Uh, Fong, yeah, I wish they did. Uh, the dud rate in Silent Hunter 4 is not nearly as bad. But, uh, yeah, I wish the dud rate was absolutely abysmal. Um, thanks, Jackson. Appreciate it. Uh, deck guns were used by American boats for uh, pretty much the entire war. I mean, towards the end of the war, they pretty much just blockaded uh, the home islands, shooting junk with their guns. I think it would be fun. 
Hey, thanks, Lucky. I guess I haven't played with the Fall of the Rising Sun mod. So I'm not sure uh, if there's a higher dud right then and trigger Maru. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Deacon. Looks like this area is kind of a bust. I'll complete my orders, but hopefully we'll head south. Japanese troops have landed in Borneo. Uh, well, Silent Hunter 3 is definitely more difficult, uh, Jackson. Oh, great to hear that, Zachary. I'm glad you're okay. Oh my goodness. Ten days. Alright, I'm going to use a bit more time compression than I've been. There's not going to be much over here. It's our engines. All right. Yes, sir. Surface the boat. Yeah, the Silent Hunter 2 menu music is pretty good. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, yes, finish. And I've also stopped buying my Corona beer. <laughs> What's the turtle on the map? Where do you see a turtle? To zip around. Oh, merchant. Oh, the the star with the binoculars. That's just my patrol area. All right, we have a merchant moving slow, closing bearing three one one. Well, let's go ahead and mark this bad boy then, and let's change course to head. Southwest, both engines ahead full. New course, two, 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 five, two, five, ahead full. Well, I did do a Silent Hunter 4 playthrough and the Asiatic Fleet Sky Talent. Um, I might uh, do Pearl Harbor, although sailing out of the out of Manila in the Philippines is definitely more interesting at the start of the war. In my opinion, uh, because on <laughs> these boats from Midway and Pearl really get sent to uh, very poor patrol areas, and they did not have much success. But uh, as most of you know, the area, this area, really <laughs> was a, definitely a hot spot. Also, I might start with the nest boat again because I do like the sugar boats. All right, we're going to go ahead and man battle stations. Yes, sir. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. Yes, sir. New course. New course. Nine, nine, nine. Let me see. Sound settings. 
Let me actually turn up the volume. <laughs> the game. That was way too quiet. There we go. Alright, let's turn towards the target. I'm in a porpoise class boat. USS Pike. Alright, there's our friend. Looks like he's heading uh, northeast. Hey, what's up, rabbit? Hey, thanks, Sky Talon. I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely want to play Silent Hunter 4 again. I'm not sure when I'll do it. If it'll be after this series. Uh, this current Silent Hunter series. Or if I'll do another Silent Hunter 3 series. Let's go ahead and turn south. All right, this seems like a pretty decent intercept course. It looks like we have visual on the enemy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, zero six eight. There she is. All right, let's go ahead and go down to periscope depth. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. No, I do have a deck gun. It's on the aft section of the boat. nice not but <laughs> it's very shallow where we are so oh we'll see well yeah the test depth is 250 feet yeah they could go deeper though yeah it's an American sub Alright, we're going to close in on his track rather quickly here. We'll have nine knots underwater. Alright, we're pretty close to his track. Let's see. Around 2,000 yards. We'll keep going closer, but we'll head two-thirds now. at a bearing of around 0 0.83 degrees. There she is. I have no yes, idea sir. what that is. Sweeping. Merchant, closing. Bearing, 8, 1. Can't make it out just yet. It kind of looks like a tanker, though. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 315. I don't know the key binds and trigger Maru overhaul. C brings up the stopwatch, but it might make us crash dive. So we're about to find out. Okay, brings up the stopwatch. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I hope we don't crash dive. All right. 
So I need to time this vessel for three minutes. Merchant, bearing, eight, two, closing. Oh, I guess I could use the identify button mark. It's a good idea. I kind of forgot that existed. It didn't work in TMO, I think. Or if it did, I never used it. All right, two minutes. Merchant, bearing, eight, three, closing. She's going pretty slow. Seven knots. There we go. So we set AO about AOB to around twenty degrees port. And uh speed to seven knots. We'll get range as she closes towards us. Yeah, it's available ridge. I don't use it though. It's in Silent Hunter 3 as well, but that's something I don't use either. I think this game actually looks rather good. Yeah, I think it's held up pretty well. All right, we'll drop down to one third. Ahead one third. All right, now we really just need to lay and wait until she gets closer. Closing. Let's see. I'll definitely end up backing up here. Bring our scope down. All right, here we go. All right, let's actually back up yes, a bit sir. more. Back slow. Okay, it's a large tanker. There she is. Large tanker, tonnage 14,000 tons. Top speed five knots, draft 30 meters, or 30 feet. Okay. Set. Angle on bow. Well, I mean, yeah, the graph sure the graphics could be better, but the game released in 2007, so I'm not really complaining. Bearing six nine. All right. Set all torpedoes to high and contact. Six, eight. We do not want to use the Mark 14 magnetics. All right, torpedo depth. We're going to set to 15. Actually. 30 feet, we'll set the 20 feet for all four tubes. 20. 20. 20. All right, perfect. Now we'll just wait. Down scope. Should be clear for firing now. See, it's like a sixty or a fifty five degree AOB. Let's see, check. Speed seven knots, get range one more time. Bearing four, two. 
something like that. Set. Alright. Open tube one. All tubes open. Bearing four zero. That looks good, except the freaking Bearing three nine. It's because I had the wrong ship identified apparently. There we go, that's much better. Alright. Tube one. Fire. Shoot a spread. Tube two. Fire. Three. Fire. All right, all four torpedoes away. All right, they're running to the target. Looks good. <laughs> That's why I shot four. There we go. See, these 45 degree ish angles definitely help. There we go. Only one dud, not bad. There we go. Three torpedoes. Not too shabby. Bearing two, three. Well, it's a 14,000 ton Bearing ship, two, uh, Nathan, so that's why I shot four. Also, uh, since I have the power of foresight, I know a good portion of our torpedoes would be duds. Uh, it's the opposite, Fong. The Mark 14s had a tendency not to work when hitting at 90 degree angles. Uh, this, <laughs> the skippers were ordered to aim at 90 degree angles, but that causes the firing pin to malfunction. Yeah, I agree. She will sink. Look at all that fire. Alright, let's go ahead and get our hydrophone operator to actually, uh, not follow. Sweep. Normal yes, sweep, please. Sweeping. Bearing. One. One. Yeah, it's pretty good looking. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get out of the area. Yes, sir. There we go. She's going down. Oh, she's exploding. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the holes. Fong, your, your comment said Mark 14 impact detonates also had a tendency to work when hitting around 90 degrees. So I guess it was just a typo. Yeah, it was pretty good. Alright, skip down. We'll go ahead and continue onward. We'll stay submerged for the time being just to avoid any ASW units set in our area. Let's go ahead and secure from battle stations as well. Yeah, I was surprised we actually found something out here.
All right, surface the boat. All ahead, standard. Two thirds, actually. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some water. All right, I'm back. What's up, Admiral? All right, we'll go ahead and uh, just trying to catch up on the chat. Oh uh, yeah, Wolfpack's probably your best bet for submarine multiplayer. I mean, there is multiplayer in this game, but uh, it's pretty much dead, so. How long have we been here? Golly. Let's see, it's December 19th now. Alright, we'll go ahead and use a lot of time compression. With Silent Hunter 4, you can go bonkers with it. Let's, uh, let's go up into this little cove here and see if we can find anything. home look at that port probably not a good idea to sell this close to it but where are we going zero knots are we out of fuel oh there we go what the heck why is our boat stopped? Did we hit something? No, oh, we're just in shallow water. I don't know why. We're having a malfunction? Maybe we were? That was odd. Okay, interesting. Okay, we'll just back away. Oh, I got a donation. Phil's 2121. Keep up the great work, man. I love the Sim games. Also, the attention... God darn it. 
The attention you yes, put sir. into the story in your videos is great. Hey, thank you. I I definitely play a lot of RPGs and stuff, so that's where that side comes from. Okay, let's start. What a weird phenomenon we are encountering here. Why are we only going three knots? What is wrong with my boat? Okay, well, we'll get out of that area. Maybe my crew was, like, mutinying. Like, you're not bringing us that close, Captain, you psychopath. Well, I'm not on battle stations. It was just they didn't want to go that close to land and they were <laughs> not letting me do so. I wonder if the the monitors have coded something in so like your boat will slow down when you're about to hit an island and maybe there's a glitch here. I don't know. I see you guys are talking about uh, U-boat operations. I'm curious if something's juicy. Honestly, I hate port raids in Silent Hunter. Second attempt on Wake by the Japanese was successful. 4,000 American troops have been forced to surrender. I think that's what was happening there. We were just getting close to land. All right. So that has been completed. Let's go ahead and head back down towards Luzon. Uh, I'm not going to request new orders. Mostly because I, I just want to do what I want. So <laughs> we'll request new orders maybe in a bit when we get down here. So but we have completed this here objective. If I were playing, uh, maybe I should request new orders. But they'll send me to some dead place. And I know it's hitting the fan here at Luzon, so... Try to get one of those Japanese supply convoys. island of Hong Kong has surrendered to the Imperial Japanese today. By the way, Merry Christmas. How, how depressing. Alright, there's a task force here heading south southwest. Speed is fast, 15 knots. I wonder where they're going. I'll find out. We are currently on the USS Pike, a porpoise class submarine. It's been a while since we've looked at the boat, we've been staring at a map. Yeah, 
This game looks good. I really do like the graphics in this game. Hey, welcome, Sea Bass. Yes, this is the best sub. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and head down here. And, uh, well, let's patrol along here. We'll lose on straight, and then we'll go into uh, Lingayen Gulf. I have a feeling that convoy's heading this way. Let's actually... Head in here. I'm pretty sure this was a landing zone and this was down here. So we'll find out. Oh, once again, they stopped the boat. Received enemy warship on the north side. Okay, merchant moving slow. Sonar merchant closing, bearing two, nine. All right, let's just head south, all ahead full. Oh, it's a friendly. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, let's just request orders. Proceed the area convoy college and engage anti-shipping operations within the designated area. And they'll lose on straight for five days. Well, that's where we are. Okay, so we'll continue this, uh... No, I haven't encountered any yet. I haven't. I didn't actually sail out of Pearl. I sailed out of Manila here. All right, we have a convoy, or task force, west southwest. The U-505 is an amazing museum, Ronald. I definitely want to go back. Midway is still a ways away, unfortunately. Hey, what's up, Kyrus? Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, I definitely want to do some, but, uh, some more. I was thinking I'll probably try to stream it some more often. Yep, I do have a three inch deck gun on the back there. Yeah, Fedrick, there are. M some Marines do use torpedoes as well. Hmm. I hope something comes in the Luzon Strait. I hope so too. Well. Uh. It is recommended for all submarines to refrain from use of. Or for, I don't know, Marvels? For fuel repairs due to the intense Japanese presence. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool, Vince. We'll just set up a pretty big uh, perimeter here. Yeah, we'll patrol. We'll do something like this.
But yeah, <laughs> we actually attacked a tanker way up here, and there was only one dud out of the four we launched. But we launched at a fairly good angle for the Mark 14. Warship. New message received. Well, that's definitely not friendly. Warship moving slow, closing. Zero two three. Okay, there's multiple contacts. Let's. Looks like they're heading. Okay, let's go ahead and change course and head west northwest. New course two, New course. Nine, eight, two. Nine, eight. Uh, uh Kairos says, have I played much of this mod yet? No, not really. Not much at all. Thinking you still prefer Trigger Maru overhauled. Yeah, I I haven't played enough to really have an opinion. Um, I will say Trigger Maru has been my favorite, although it's uh, definitely harder. <laughs> but I like that. I like the challenge. I've been watching your series though, Kyrus. And by the way, if you guys want more Silent Hunter action, check out his channel. But, um, what, what don't you like about it? Anyway, here, let's go ahead and turn into them. Hey, what's up, Scorpio? Let's see. Should be three, five, zero. Oh, there they are. It's a tanker. It looks like that's the Shoot warship. Far. How'd you guys just now? Oh, I guess they're kind of far out there. Okay, periscope depth. And we'll man battle stations momentarily. Can't believe you guys think that little tugboat is... uh. the escort all right it's gonna change but as we know the Japanese weren't too big on protecting their merchant ships so all right we're under 31 feet and the electrics have kicked on let's go ahead and man battle stations All right, and let's drop down to two thirds. Uh, TMO feels more realistic so far, and not enough dead torpedoes. Yeah, we torpedoed a tanker up here, and we only had one dud. But I did launch four torpedoes. Let's see how many? Speaking of torpedoes, it looks like I'm running pretty low. I don't know if I'll shoot four again this time. Maybe just three. I do want to be a little liberal with my torpedo usage, though. Okay, I'll go ahead and move towards them. Scope. Uh, American submarines were not equipped with snorkels during World War II, Andre. But I guess with the U-boat missions add-on, there are. All right, there they are. So that's the warship. It really just looks like an armed tugboat. And that's the, wow, that's a beefy looking vessel. All right, let's go ahead and keep on closing. 
This might be a long range shot. I wonder if that warship is just, you know, an armed like tugboat, for example. Or if it actually has, you know, hydrophones. Let's go ahead and bump my speed up to four knots. Yes, sir. Current speed three. Yep, that's right, Mark. I could try to shoot the warship. I'd rather prioritize the merchant vessel, though. Take out the merchant and then run away. Oh, um, I think that little guy is going to be a waste of a torpedo. We'll see, though. Also, if we miss and they see the wake, then I'm kind of boned. That's a good point. It is pretty big. One minute. Few minutes. Mark. Ten knots. I say she's going medium. They're both going medium. Okay, stop the clock. Let's see. Ugh. What are you, my friend? I guess we can use this button here. Auxiliary cruiser. Auxiliary cruiser, a warder, warder class? So it's gonna be, is that Japanese? What is that flag? I mean, there's no way to jump to this. As far as I know. Toro class. Yeah. Honestly, that looks like a German flag. What the heck is that doing out here? Look, it has... Let me... Let me jump to Germany. Yeah, it's a German ship. 11,000 tons. Class auxiliary ship. Why are you out here, my friend? What a weird, weird place to be. Anyway, definitely a nice looking target. Um, Let's go ahead and change course just slightly. Yes, sir. New course. Three. New course. One. Three. One. One. And unfortunately. That big boy. I only have. I think maybe I'll shoot two torpedoes and then two at the other vessel. I wonder if two torpedoes will be enough to bring this thing down. Yeah, maybe the Germans just gave it to the Japanese. I don't know. Definitely weird. They just send blockade runners to, runners to Japan, but this early? I mean, I don't know much about it. I know they did send U-boats and everything, but I just... A German ship in this area is just odd. 
to me. But anyway, let's go ahead and begin this process. We'll do a 45 degree angle on bow at the moment. Speed we established was 10 knots. Do contact speed high and all four torpedoes. Let's see a draft 27 feet, 15 feet for tubes one and two. Oh, set. All right, 15 feet for tubes one and two. Angle on bow. Let's double check this again. Definitely is closer to 90. I'm going to say 75. Not convinced that this shit matches the image. I mean, I'm not. I think it is. Um, the auto identification button says this is what it is. Um, let me look. Yeah, I think this actually might be it because we have this uh, this mast in the middle, right here. The gun platforms in the back. Yeah, there's the platform. I think this is as close as I'm gonna get. Why does it have blue and white flags on the side? I don't know. Maybe to trick allied ships? I don't know, this is a this is a weird phenomenon we have encountered, Finnish. Let's see, what does it say? It says Greece. So it's a Greek ship with a German flag on it. So maybe it was a uh, Greek ship converted into a raider. Okay, angle on bow. We'll do eighty. We'll do seventy-five. Actually, set speed. Make sure ten knots set. Range one more time, baby. There we go. Position keeper is on. Open tube one and tube two. All right. Tube one, fire. Tube two. Wait. Tube two, fire. Tube two away. It's like range. Range the target is around eight. 1800 yards all right both torpedoes are away take a look at this that looks okay yeah I thought it was a Swedish flag at first as well let's take a look at it yeah definitely Greek definitely a Nazi vessel Lots of guns. All right, torpedoes are running. Oh boy, kind of nervous about this one, folks. Oh no. Shoot. Oh no, torpedo number two just went right past the bow as well. Hopefully they didn't see him. Or do speed. Angle on bow is closer to 90 degrees now. Open tube number three. Firing tube 
Three. One more. Let's see how we do. Torpedo in the water. I guess she was going a bit slower than 10 knots. Oh, we'll plug her now. As long as this torpedo is not a dud. There we go. We're right in the middle. There we go. Yeah, we missed with two. Maybe I overestimated uh, range or speed. I'm sorry. Looks like the angle on bow was a bit off as well, but. Uh, let's go ahead and I hope you boys are reloading that. 39%. Oh, it's not a hospital ship. It's an escort. Okay, so she's burning. Um, let's see. Uh, it looks like she's slowing down on the water. Let's take a look at our friend. There we go. Oh, that's a Japanese. That's a that's a beefy fellow. Now, does he have guns? That's the question. It doesn't. It looks like he's unarmed, so we can surface and use our gun. This auxiliary cruiser goes down with one hit. Uh, it doesn't look like she's going to. So I think our best bet is to reload our torpedoes. Tube one's already ready. Let's go ahead and go standard. like our Japanese friend he's bugging out he's like I am not sticking around okay that's fine let's take a look yeah she's listing pretty heavy in the water looks like she's dead in the water as well so we'll go ahead and line up a stern shot this guy's heading northwest so we'll plot his course down here like that all right we're gonna set up a coup de gras here finish her off there we go looks good Go ahead and begin backing up. We'll get nice and close for our torpedo. All right, let's go ahead and set this up. Lock on target. Angle on bow, 90 degrees. Set. Speed zero knots. Well, we'll do we'll do a quarter of a knot just to account for the drift, the current. Go. Alright, aft tube number five. Torpedo depth will set to 20 feet. High, uh, high speed contact pistol. Let's take a look on the map since it's a stationary target. Looks good. Alright, tube five. Fire. Oh, forgot to open the tube, but that's yes, fine. Sweeping. Fire, please. Maybe I have to open the tube first before they fire. Is that something with this mod? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Interesting. All right, I'll see you later. Finish. All right, torpedo's heading on towards target. Yeah, it looks like that thing's about to get it. Oh, 
There we go. That should be enough. Is this ship going to need a third? Oh my goodness. That might have been why I missed the first time. Uh, Mark? Man, I wish this would reset after each shot. I, I, I'm sure that's why I missed the first time. Okay, we'll go ahead and I guess shoot another tube. Need another torpedo at her. I want to finish her off so I can still chase that large ship. Alright, open tube six. Hopefully we are under... Yeah, we should be fine. I can't read this dial. Like, it's just so small. Firing. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, it seems like the Greeks did make pretty tough ships here. Uh, she's lit. She probably would go down eventually, but I want to finish her off so I can pursue our uh, Japanese friend over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, a three-inch deck gun is what I'm currently equipped with. Okay, let's go ahead and full. Looks like our Japanese friend is zigzagging. I, if it's not, I think these waves are good enough to commence a deck gun attack in. The problem is. If it's armed, I'd rather not. Okay, you know what? We're going to battle surface. Let's go ahead and get the boys on the deck gun. Okay. All ahead flank. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that ship as well, Kent. All right, going eight knots. Surface the boat. We're about to find out real fast if this Japanese merchant ship has guns. All right, coming up, 37 feet. 35, 34, 2, 1, 0, 9, 8. Okay, we're surfacing rapidly. There we go. Oh, these waves are actually pretty rough. Uh, this does not look like deck gunning weather. Well, in any case, this will allow us to get into a position around the enemy ship. Yeah, I'm not going to use the deck gun in this weather. Sorry, boys. They're on it, though. But, uh... <laughs> I don't want to drown them. Get off there. Way too rough. So, it looks like we've reloaded. I might have to... Okay, Manila is now no longer a good port. It looks like the Japanese have a established an air base here as well. Uh, so, where's the closest? So, Singapore is probably the closest place. We've already extended quite a... Expended quite a few of our torpedoes. 
Okay, no worries, Zachary. It might be a bit longer since I am... I might make a surface attack here. I mean, I'm sure if he has spotted me by now, he would have shot me. Let's find out. You have guns, my friend? Sure she sees me. You know what? <laughs> Get on there, boys. I'm not going to deprive you of a good time. Open fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rapid firing that thing. Let's go ahead and aim for waterline. There we go. How is this game a scam? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it might try to ram me, but uh, it doesn't look like it wants to. We're really hitting it in the bow quite a lot. I should not be able to do this. Let's see. Oh, I guess the waves aren't really lapping over the... Uh, spoke too soon. It's not too shabby. I mean, it's pretty rough. What do you mean? Uh, the gunners miss on purpose? Uh, it's just a random chance of, uh hit it like rolls the dice every time and it's based on gunner skill and things like that these guys are really good at reloading that gun oh there we go no if I was the captain of this merchant ship I would definitely go for the ram yeah, they are using high explosive rounds. That's all we got. There we go, she's going down. That is a nice looking moon. All right. Go ahead and continue on course, get these men off of the gun. All ahead standard, get the hell out of here. Get off. Don't drown. Alright, we'll watch this guy sink. I'm actually gonna grab some more water. <laughs> Be right back.
All right, and I'm back. Okay. Uh, when you ask them to fire, it's like a 50-50% uh, hits and misses. Well, it, dep it depends on the skill of your crew. What ship was that? I don't know. Let's take a... Oh, boy. How do I bring this up? The key combined... These key binds are all screwed up. Um, it was a medium cooler. That's what it says. All right. Admiral Chester W. Nimitz is appointed to command the U.S. Pacific Fleet. All right. Any ship can be a submarine at least once. That is, that is very true. All right. We'll continue our patrol. We still have quite a bit of fuel. One thing we definitely want to be concerned about when we're sailing in the Pacific, fuel is uh, very important, I found. I have ended multiple playthroughs running out of fuel. He sure will, Deacon. Manila has been captured by Japanese forces. Have I ever tried the Black Sea campaign? Uh, a little bit. I haven't done a whole series in it. That's actually uh, one of... Oh, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and... Let's see. House fuel. Let's request new orders. Proceed to, a to the designated location and conduct anti-shipping operations off the coast of Shanghai for at least five days. God, are you kidding me? That's so far, you gotta be out of your mind. Uh. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I guess, I guess we'll go up here. Fuel seems more abundant in this mod. Yeah, I'm kind of no. I kind of noticed that. I mean, I have not done a playthrough at the beginning of the game in a porpoise, so I normally start in the sugar boats. They're definitely my favorite. Okay. Oh, I was going to say something about the Black Sea campaign. Yeah, that's that's something I'm considering doing. Um, oh, a merchant. I'm considering doing a Black Sea campaign in Silent Hunter uh, in the future. How's the weather? Pretty shit. Why are we only going two knots? That's the question. North northeast. Yes, sir. New course. Two. New six, course. Zero. Two. Six. Zero. Yep, torpedoes are we are running a bit low on them. This thing does not carry very many torpedoes. A salmon class. Yeah, that's... I think... I mean, they're all very similar. Um, I 
Well, I'm pretty sure I was just st like I'm going standard speed right now, and I'm only going five knots. I guess the weather must be awfully poor. Wind speed 15 meters per second. Direction 302. It might be causing some issues. Yeah, so we're pretty much sailing into the wind. I also had an issue earlier when I was up here. I got close to the land and my boat wouldn't move. I get it. I was all stopped, so I wonder if that's another game feature in this, or another feature in this mod to help uh, <laughs> avoid collisions with islands. That's still, it was still kind of weird. All right, down the periscope. And we'll just close on this guy. This will probably be the last sinking for me of the night. If we do sink them, and in fact, I mean, I don't want to assume things. All right, this guy's moving kind of fast. Hey, thanks, Jeremy. I don't see him. One minute, two minutes. Reasonable. We're on a pretty good track here. I'll head one third. I'll head one third. Let's come up a few feet. Yes, sir. Waves are making it a little difficult. There she is. Looks like a decent sized merchant ship. I'll probably limit myself to two torpedoes on this one. Hopefully that'll be enough to put her under. All right, let's use some time compression here and let this merchant ship close in on us. I, I could use my aft tubes. I'm actually going to do that. Let's speed this up here. There we go. Perfect. Hello, friend. All right. S what are you? Modern Hansa Freighter. Japan. No, oh, it's merchant ships. Modern Hansa Freighter. Fast Hansa Merchant, Fast Merchant, Hansa Freighter, but it's a modern Hansa Freighter. 
Modern, modern, modern. <laughs> oh my goodness, where are... Oh, there it is. 7,000 ton vessel. Angle uh, AOB, do 70 degrees, 75. Oh, come on now, gauge. Play nice. Speed, nine knots. Set. Position keeper on. Let's get a range. Set. All right, no offset angle, good. Draft on this ship is 24 feet. Let's shoot five and six, so we'll set both torpedoes to 15 feet. High speed settings on both the contact pistols. Lock on target, open tube five and six. Yeah, 70, uh, 75 degrees seems okay. One last range reading here. These waves are making this a little hard. There we go. Lock. And make sure speed is indeed nine knots. All right, tube five, fire. Tube six, fire. Run time is just under 40 seconds. Check the map. Let's take a look. Yeah, those look okay. I'm definitely uh, having trouble with the AOB, but I think those are going to be hits. All right. Closing in. Five seconds to impact. Torpedo impact. Torpedo. Torpedo. Oh, there we go. job she's definitely going down that wasn't bad that was a pretty good attack lack of duds uh, like Hyrus said I've only had one dud and I've launched <laughs> pretty much all of my torpedoes And uh, yeah, we hit it, it's taking water, and it's going down. Yeah, I'll probably look at how to uh, adjust the dud rate. All right. Wow, not a bad tally. We've already destroyed four enemy vessels. See a large tanker, the auxiliary, the German auxiliary cruiser, which is an odd one, medium cooler, and modern Hansa freighter. All right, let's go ahead and surface and all ahead standard. You know, I said that was going to be my last one, but uh, we'll continue. I kind of, I kind of rather not go up here. That's such a far ways. This so far has been a very lucrative area, so I'm going to stay here. And we'll, uh, never mind. We'll go up here. We'll just use a lot of time compression. <laughs> oh shoot! Uh, crash dive. Oh god. All head flank.
All right, going under. Relieve the watch. Go down to 110 feet. Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Shatter's Asset, am I making this a series? So, my thing... My, uh... That might have been it, is my radar off? That might have been it, Kairos. So, I was th thinking of, uh... Making, a, like, a streaming series. Like, I'd stream this game. And it'd become a series. I didn't, I wasn't thinking of starting it now. Mostly because I don't think I can make this a consistent stream. Uh, so I've pretty much blocked off every Thursday evening for Flying Circus. But uh, I need a night where I can stream this. So we'll see when my schedule frees up. And then I do want to start like, let's stream Silent Hunter 4 and do a series out of that. Um, I don't want to do two Silent Hunter series with the captain's logs and everything. So... I think we'll go up here and I will stay up <laughs> and I'll finish out this patrol I think just so I can uh, this can be like a, a complete I don't know episode patrol so there's some sort of a uh, conclusion to it so I'll go ahead and but we're gonna go ape shit with the time compression Also, we're pretty low on torpedoes, so. And, uh, anyway, radar, radar. Turning off. Turning on SD air search radar. There we go. Yeah, I think a stream series would work out rather well, so. We'll see. Whenever I get free time, I will definitely do that. Uh, I think it'd be a good compromise between the two because I definitely want to play more of this but the problem is I just don't want to commit to a whole another Silent Hunter series because uh, Silent Hunter is by far the most time-consuming game to record and I mean this game has a lot of downtime so it's cool to chat with the chat <laughs> so it'd be neat Let's see fuel is still pretty good 88 percent also I am running I think with the outdated version of fall of the rising sun so I I do want to get the new version radar contact so that's definitely a plane all right let's go ahead and emergency dive yes sir, yes, sir. Radar contact. Bearing two, three, eight. Long range. The best torpedo is myself. Finish the stream by ramming. <laughs> Alright, see you later, Zachary. I'm sure we'll get home a-okay. I, I have my full full confidence yes, right sir. now. Uh, see you later, man. Hope you feel better soon. Oh. No. There we go. Come up to 100 feet. Alright, see you later, Shatter. Thanks for tuning in, man. Alright, we are now in the patrol area. So we have to stay here for five days. And once we're done with this, we will head home all the way down to Sarabaya right now. 
Uh, this could change soon. I don't know if it'll change before we get there, though. Let's see, what's the current date? Currently January 7th, 1942. So we've been at sea for a month. Japanese forces have begun the Siege of Bataan. Well, hold out down there, boys. There's a ship way down here, but I'm not. See you later, Carson. Good luck at work, man. Merchant, medium speed, constant distance, 078. Let's see, what are weather conditions like? Ooh, very good. See, I'm going two thirds speed and I'm limited at two knots. Let me see something. Oh, we're running both motors. Interesting. Okay. Yes. Oh, it's standard. Odd oh, fool. Maybe standard is the best speed in this mod. It makes sense. All right, let's head towards the merchant. So weather conditions are good, so I'll probably uh, deck on this guy. How many rounds do we have? 106 rounds. Earl Grey tea. Just like Captain Picard. <laughs> I'll head flank. Let's get in there. Let's be somebody. Hopefully this guy isn't armed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bearing 377. 337. Holy cow, I can't read. Uh, I think I see some guns on there. I really can't tell. I don't know if slugging it out on the surface is a real good idea, so let's go ahead and run parallel to the target. See, speed's medium. I could always open up at range. Yes, sir. Oh, there she is. Man, I can't tell if those are guns. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Do I want to be an idiot? <laughs> okay, we're going to try to outrun them and set ourselves up for a torpedo attack. But you know what? While we're at it, we can go ahead and uh, get a speed here. I'll probably... I might just shoot uh, one torpedo and then try to... Oh, she's booking it. I might shoot one torpedo and then try to finish her off with a deck gun. Two minutes. Oh no, we lost visual contact. Crap. Yes, sir. Two, one, five, New two. course. One, five, two. So this isn't going to be wholly accurate, but I'm guessing around there. See, 10 knots. Yeah, that's reasonable. Let's go ahead and man battle stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna try to get in front. We only have bow torpedoes right now. Maybe it would be best just to shoot one torpedo. Alright, cutting in front of her. Perfect. Looks like she's currently heading on a course of around 210. Yeah, a course of 210. Mark that down. All right, let's go ahead and take her down. Down to periscope depth. Periscope depth. All head one thirds. Head one third. Standard is the best speed, yeah. It's good to know. All 
All right, we'll go. We'll go standard underwater right now. This might be a bit of a longer shot than uh, before. I have submerged to early 4,000 yards. Okay, let's go flank. So yeah, we can make nine knots underwater. So not not too shabby, honestly. Our underwater speed is quite good. Being honest. All right, yeah, we'll be able to close easily enough. All right. Scope down. Let's go to nice periscope. Hey, what's up, Sharfy? Hello. All right, there she is. Lock on target. I'm not seeing those. Maybe those are guns. Who knows? Should I try using the magnetic pistols this time? I added my roof freighter. Let's try to find it. it looks like a add in Maru. Oh, this is an Ada. Nope, oh, there we are. Automo Freighter, 5,000 tons. Top speed 12 knots, draft 25 feet. I'm debating just shooting one. Influence. 25.9 feet. We'll do two feet under the keel. Oh yeah, it's pretty late here. It's uh, it's 12:30 at night. I'm a madman. Forty-five degrees and speed we established was ten knots. Perfect. All right, and we'll wait for the ship to get into a bit of a better position. Hopefully our magnetic pistol works. Alright, this is actually looking pretty good. Alright. Angle on bow, closer to... We'll do 60 degrees. Uh, probably closer to 65. Open tube one. All right, tube one, fire. Runtime, just over 45 seconds. Running towards the target. Range is a little off, but still not bad. Oh, we'll see. This looks pretty good. A little follow on the external camera. I need, if I play this, I need to get rid of that. That is obnoxious. I never liked the little U mark. Oh, there's my torpedo. Let's see if the contact influence works. Nope, oh, there we go. It sure did. Hit her right in the aft section of the boat. I don't know if that's going to be damaging enough. We'll, we'll soon find out here. Oh, hello! <laughs> uh, we'll see. Probably hit her right in the... Uh, Engine room, I would expect. Yeah, it's a it's a reasonable time to be streaming somewhere. Oh wow, she's still going. All right, let's run parallel. Let's take another look. Think it exploded early? That is possible. I thought it kind of did as well. Let's take a look. Let's, let's just look. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll use the deck gun here momentarily. Oh, I think you got. I think you're right. I think it did premature. It detonated a bit far from the hole. I don't think it might not have caused any damage. She's still booking it. All right, all ahead flank. We'll we'll, we'll deck gunner. Let's go ahead and get best men on the deck gun. We are on battle station and surface yes, boat. Yes, sir. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface. Be ready on all four engines. Yes, Stand by to charge batteries. Yes, sir. We should rise on the plane. I do not want to be recharging batteries, so we'll switch that off. How do you, I manage to conserve fuel when going on long patrols in Silent Hunter 3? Really just not going above two-thirds speed. Yes, sir. Standard propulsion. Oh, they're already opening fire. Oh, wow. Good hit. The deck gun crew is so good in this mod. Let's get on our 50 cal. I think they might be lobbing shells our way. Let's slow down to full. Yes. Oh, they certainly are. Ahead full. Never mind. Keep going flank. Ahead flank. Um. I do not like that sound. Ooh, they hit it right in the gun, it looked like. Um. Go ahead and aim for the weapons. Since the gunner and crew is so good, maybe it'll be able to knock out that deck gun. Oh, there's a good explosion. I do not like the sound of those shells whizzing over my head. Getting pretty good hits still. Oh, she's going down. Oh, that was easy. What's up with Americans and their 50 cal? They're fantastic weapons, Kairos. Kairos. Uh, they're burning. I mean, it, listen to this baby purr. Oh my goodness, they're still reloading it? Gotta love that. Although, I don't think it's the best anti-aircraft weapon. <laughs> a single 50 cal? It's, uh, yes, it's a little weak. Alright, let's secure yes. from battle stations. Yes. Alright, let's keep on our patrol. Oh my god, another one. Alright, let's just deck on it. I'm getting tired. Come here, little guy. Let's see here. How much rounds do I have? 84 rounds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a pretty big ship. Oh my goodness, thank you, Nathan. Oh my... I should probably sleep soon. Alright. Uh, I actually might end up torpedoing this guy. And once we torpedo him, I'm gonna head on home to Sarabaya.
Hey, thank you for the donation. I'm not sure what that currency translates to, but uh, thank you. I really do appreciate it. It definitely helps out. All my all my YouTube money is going back into the channel. I'm gonna, <laughs> once I hit 10K, I'm buying some pretty uh, good audio equipment, so I'm excited for that. But thank you again for the donation, uh, Mr. Thor. Norwegian money, got it. All right, see you later, Vince. Yeah, I guess I just didn't know what NOK was. Cool. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Thor. Appreciate it, man. All right, start the timer. One minute. Oh, uh, no, I don't. I don't take uh, Bitcoin donations. Or rent a cow. What a what a fantastic username. <laughs> Two minutes. All right, three mark. Probably go down the periscope depth relatively soon. Seven knots. All right, seven knots, and it looks like this vessel's on a course of. Let's see here. It's like one. One four seven. Yeah, we'll do that. One four seven degrees. All right. Let's go ahead and change course just a tad and submerge the periscope depth. <laughs> Oh, uh, one second. All right, I'm back. Are we already under? Perfect. I left this dumb thing on. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, and all ahead, full underwater. Close in. Looks like my course was a little off. It's like, oh, I guess I just mismarked it. Yeah, it was around 047 degrees. All right, we should be good. Let's take a look at the vessel. God, we are booking it. This is what seven knots this close to the water looks like. Ooh, what an interesting design on that ship. Medium fleet oiler. There we go, medium fleet oiler, 5,000 tons. It's 
Let's go ahead and slow down. Two thirds. Yes, sir. Ahead slow. So I think contact pistol is definitely the way to go. I'll shoot two torpedoes at this thing and then we're getting out of here. Angle on bow. Do a 30 degree, 35 degree angle at the moment. Speed was seven knots. And go ahead and get a range. Go. Mark. Range 3,000 yards. Yeah, that should be good. And closing rapidly. Make sure there's no offset angles. Negative on that. Let's see. Draft on this vessel is 25 feet, so we'll set our draft to. 15 on tubes of 1 and 2. 15 feet for both. Speed high, contact influence. High contact influence. Perfect. We're all set up. We'll just wait for uh, the target to close. Closer is looking good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get ready to fire here. Do our last checks. Range 2,000 yards. Angle on bow is actually looking pretty good. We'll do 75 degrees set, and uh, range speed was still seven knots, right? Yeah, seven knots. Perfect. And plug that in again. Let's open tube one. Tube two, and you know what? We'll go ahead and shoot tube three at him. All right, tube one, fire. Tube two, fire. Tube three, one degree offset, fire. Alright, run time is a uh, minute and 10 seconds. It's not a bad uh, solution here, as far as I can tell, and it looks like we're going to have a few hits. Oh, there's our torpedo. Good old Mark 14. Run into target. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a hit. There we go. One hit. Two hit. Oh no, tube three. It's a depth. Oh, it, it was a dud. No, oh, it hit at least. There we go. So two, two duds so far this patrol. Definitely doing pretty good. <laughs> oh well. Let's see, what was the depth on the third one? Did I have my depth at like zero? Yeah, I guess I did. Oh well. Hey. At least it at least it wasn't deep. It looks like she's still sailing, but uh you know, maybe she'll uh looks like she's getting pretty yeah, she's going down, look at that. Already significantly lower in the water. Do, 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 do. Come on, little guy. You know you want to. I mean, we could just sur surface and pop one three inch round off, and uh, she'll go down. Guaranteed. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Time to surface then. Let's go ahead and get the deck gun crew on. And man battle yes, stations. Sir. Let's just finish this guy off. Yes, Bro, it's blinding me. Go ahead and swing this gun around. 
All ahead. Yes, sir. All ahead standard. Ahead full. I don't think this ship is going to take very much motivation. Yeah, Drac is great. His videos are awesome. All right. Oh, I was taking a bit more motivation than I thought she would. Yes, sir. There we go. She's going down now. Oh, and there's little lifeboats in the water. Oh, explosions! That's what we needed. Beautiful. There we go. Oh. There's no one on it. Well, that's quite sad. There's no one on any of these. There's a picture right there. Well, now that we got that cinematic moment out of the way, I suppose it's time to go home now. Oh, is she stuck on the seafloor? Oh, yep, she sure is. Just nosed into it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the gun crew back inside. Head standard, secure from battle yes, stations, and get out of here. Yes, sir. I, I hate leaving these uncompleted though, so <laughs> how long have we been here? We're in shallow waters, copy that. Man. I said uh, we needed to patrol here for a total of five days. I need to complete it. I can't leave this un uncomplete. So let's, let's just go nuts with time compression. Hey, this was a pretty successful patrol, though. I never do this well. This crazy time compression is really nice in this game, though. Alright. I'll see you later, Kairos. Thanks for stopping by, man. Japanese troops capture Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Japan declares war on the Netherlands and invades the Dutch East Indies. Alright, there we go. Complete. We're heading home. With only one torpedo, not much else we can do here. Yeah, the torpedoes are pretty reliable, it seems, in this mod. We're gonna have to, uh, we have to change that. Radar. Oh, radar contact. Really Japanese aircraft launch. coming in. Yes, sir. Emergency dive. Yes, sir. dive. Emergency dive. Dive. Oh, two Japanese aircraft. There we go. Dropping down. Let's go down to 130 feet. All ahead, one thirds. We'll stay submerged for a little bit. All right, let's surface and continue on. Uh, there's a merchant, but we're. Let's turn towards it. Let's see how many deck gun rounds do I have? 76. We'll be using the deck gun. 
Thanks, Mr. Thor, and thanks again for the donation. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. Of course. Three. No. Oh, it's another one of those medium oilers. Okay, let's go ahead and get the deck gun crew on. Man, battle stations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hopefully it doesn't have guns. Open fire. Yes, sir. Aim for waterline, please. That was awful. Look yes, at that. Uh, that was close. That's another close one. Just overshot barely. Still overshooting. There we go. Hit number one. Oh, now they're like, oh, what is that? And like they're not hearing the loud bangs from our gun. There we go. Explosion right away. Head in the tower. Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, stop firing. Yes, sir. Let's get closer. Yes, sir. I mean, the Japanese ship, uh, merchant ship is unarmed. We're going to get nice and close. There we go. Now go ahead and open fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and open fire, actually. Yeah, that's some cool looking camo on there. Uh, 51 rounds, should be able to put her under. Yeah, I agree, Deacon. It, I would have not have wanted to been a merchantman during World War II. Definitely not a uh, not an easy job at all. Six rounds. There's a fire on the four deck. Oh, that's it for her, I think. Maybe it's just a big explosion. Yes, sir. There we go. Yes, sir. She's done. Secure from battle stations. Secure. 
Secure from battle stations. Hey, the well. Hey, the wise guy. Welcome to the stream. She is Yep, she's burning. Let's go ahead and continue on our course and we really need to get home with our one torpedo. <laughs> I'll see how many deck gun rounds? Thirty one rounds. So I don't think Don't think I'm gonna hang around for much longer. Definitely wanna Get on home. <laughs> yeah, the wise guys. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I mean, you have Silent Hunter 4. That's what I'm fly playing as right now. Oh my goodness, another merchant ship. They just keep falling into my lap. Don't Can't you see I... I don't want it anymore. I want to go home. All right. If it's if it's a biggie, a big one, we'll see. Just be a sailboat for once. The one time I want a sailboat. What the hell is that? I th I think it's gonna be. It would be best if we just let this guy go. Because I do want to keep the one torpedo in self-defense. So let's go ahead and go down to Periscope Depth. Also, it's bloody late. And I've been streaming for two and a half hours. <laughs> let's see what it is. Yeah, it's a two-stacker. Oh, let's see here. Where are you? There she is. That's a very large vessel. That's a fantastic point, Mr. 66D. That's what they're trying here. That's what they're going. That's their plan. Oh, I'm not I'm not gonna fall for it all right bye <laughs> see you later all right surface let's go home I've been at sea for quite a while already all right January 13th 1942 oh airplane looks like it's flying away though Radar contact. Bearing. Uh, if they change course, we'll crash dive. Nope, they're buggering off. Great. Nine, zero, long range. Okay, that one's coming for me. Crash dive. Radar contact. Bearing. Crash dive. Emergency dive. Dive. Oh, I didn't even realize how dark it would have been. The wise guys. I, I brighten up my videos and editing, but uh, I guess I didn't think about that. Hmm. I think I can actually turn up. Yeah, I can turn it up to gamma, so gamma or whatever. I might have to do that. Seven. See you later, Mr. Mojack. Thanks for stopping by, man. All right, let's go ahead and level out at 80 feet. Don't want to go too deep. That's a there's a there's a song there, folks. Eight zero. All right, let's slow down to one third. I think we dived far before they have a chance. Oh my, a warship closing. That's concerning. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes? Mixed emotions right now. <laughs> it's a... Really? Really game? You're gonna throw a task force at me? When I have one torpedo? And 30 deck gun rounds? I hate you game. Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna shoot our one torpedo. Or we're at least gonna take a look as to what the heck this is. They're coming straight for me. More shit moving fast. Before they get too close, how is our depth under keel? 348 feet. Okay, come up to periscope depth. Por favor. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. You... With one torpedo. You know how frustrating this is? I'm gonna go ham, egg, and cheese on this thing. Oh. I'm gonna pop a carrier, maybe. Cripple it. This game hates my freaking guts. <laughs> uh. All right, let's close at it. Let's try to get a little closer here. Okay, let's go ahead and these guys are booking it too. So let's try to. Escort carrier Tayo class. Did I miss it? Oh. Fifteen thousand tons, top speed twenty one knots, draft twenty four feet. One minute, two minutes. Sonar and warship moving away, bearing one seven. Long range. Sonar and warship moving away, bearing one. Long range. Seventeen knots. Believable. Yes, All ahead one third. Ahead one third. Rig for silent running. Sixty degrees AOB. Speed seventeen knots. Torpedo settings. Zero offset angle. Speed low. Contact influence. Torpedo depth, 24 feet, so we'll set to 15 feet. Range, 1800 yards. Tube one, open. All right, tube one. Angle on bow is a bit better than that. Seventy degrees. One last, <laughs> one last range reading. All right, range seventeen hundred yards. Fire tube four. Scope down. Drop down to one hundred and twenty feet, and let's get the hell out of here. See, our runtime is what a minute, forty seconds. I don't know how I 
feel about this one. Yeah, watch this one be a dud. You know, we've had... I can't even see the wake. Where's our... There it is. Go ahead and follow it in. We've had ex fantastic success with our Mark 14s. Uh, I think this is a complete whiff here, folks. Oh, <laughs> of course. The convoy's changing course. The task force is... Are they literally turning? They're literally all turning. Right after I shoot. This game hates me. It really does. Wow. Just my luck. That's hilarious. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Alright, well, I guess we can... I don't think we're going to hit anything. Wow. Yes, sir. Periscope down. If I hit something, I'd be... I think that'd be hilarious, but they're all just changing course. Oh, there's alarms going off. They spotted it. I don't even know where my torpedo is anymore. Yeah, I don't see my torpedo anywhere. Well, just my luck. Let's go ahead and continue on course. We're going to drop that back down. I just wanted to take another look. Go down to 120 feet. Let's get out of here. Let's take a look at all these other ships, though. That is great. Yeah, F. Be the torpedo. <laughs> Deck gun time? I don't know, man. That seems like a pretty bad idea. For multiple reasons. I can't quite put my finger on it. I just, I'm not sure why trying to slug it out would be a terrible idea. No clue. Also in this mod, the uh, the destroyers will launch torpedo. Whoa. Oh man, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Yeah, in this mod, the Japanese will launch their torpedoes at you. So uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like much fun to me. I'd really like to make it back home, so that's the that's the plan. They're searching for me. Yeah, they're not gonna find me. All right, let's get out of here. Yep, it was worth a shot. That's exciting though that we found that. I think it's hilarious. The game showed me that. All right, yeah, we got out a okay. This this time compression is just nuts. You can just fly by things. I definitely should limit it if I do a series. Because right now I'm just <sighs> trying to get home. Probably going nuts. We have no torpedoes anymore. Uh, <laughs> oh, watch another. A fleet carrier is going to sail by in a little bit. That was cool though. Spotting that. Them's quitting words. I know. I'm I'm such a quitter. Look at that. Let's go ahead and adjust that a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Mwah. One, one, two, one, two, Crash one. dive. Long range. Yes, sir. We're in a we're in a fleet boat. We don't need no milk cow. We got plenty of fuel. Alright, surface. Go standard. Oh my goodness. Another one. Uh, 
I don't know. I've I haven't found too many carriers. I guess in my last uh, Silent Hunter 4 playthrough, we did have quite a few, including one very memorable encounter with a carrier where the carrier, two Taiho class carriers, were just sailing by their lonesome at slow speed. I do remember that. That was very odd. And uh, in Silent Hunter 3, carriers scare the daylights out of me. Because they're all escort carriers, and the task, the hunter-killer group they're with is going to stomp my guts in, so can't wait for that. Another merchant ship. Well, we're not... I'm not playing with you. It's chasing me! Oh yeah, well don't don't get me wrong, Deacon. I I definitely sunk it. <laughs> but uh it was just weird. I mean, they would not be sailing like that by themselves in 1943. Oh my goodness. What's up with all this Okay, there we go. What's up with all these ships, man? Now when I'm playing by my... Uh, warship. Oh boy, another... Got a periscope depth. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a look, I suppose. Oh, wow. Well, they're gonna roll right over us. Oh my god. You guys are complaining about it's dark, but uh... Here, let's see. I can't even see that. Okay, and that looks bad. Yeah, I can't see anything out here, so... Apparently my crew can, though. Okay, we're not even gonna just drop down. Let's rig for silent running. Let's go down to uh, 150 feet. Uh, let's just skip through this, take a look. It's a cruiser, cruiser. I think these are all cruisers. Oh, there's a battleship. And that's it. So there's a battleship. Bye. Have fun going wherever you're going. Unfortunately, I don't get to be a part of your plans. Very sad. Yeah, I know. It, it, typical. I mean, we've had a very successful patrol tonight. But, uh, it would definitely be nice to sink some, uh, <laughs> capital ships. Yeah, it, that just adds to the weirdness, Mr. 6-6. No torpedoes and two Japanese fleets, that's right. Let's see, let's check our radio messages. Uh, enemy task force. Oh, USS Plunger sunk something. There's another task force, and it's heading straight for us. Let's change course. Japanese land forces have pushed into Burma. Fuel is still good. Wow, we have not expended much fuel at all. This has almost been a uh, two-month patrol. All right, uh, you S thirty-six 
was lost, scuttled after running aground. All right, we're almost home here. We're scot-free, boys. No more Japanese carrier groups. Oh, that's pretty cool, Yar. Radar. Um. Radar contact. Okay. No, thank you. Let's go down to a hundred feet. I'll just take it easy. I don't know if that'd be friendly. Yes, sir. Let's go to periscope that actually. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it says plunger, flush him out. <laughs> Am I going to continue my career on another stream? I might. You know, I was thinking I'd start a brand new one. We'll see. I do need to update the mod. Oh, it's nice and rainy out. I might update the mod. I do want to start, like, I was talking about it earlier. Like a, a streaming series. Like, let's stream Silent Hunter 4. And uh, I'll do it every week, for example. I'll have it on a schedule. The problem is I don't have time right now to really uh, do it every week. So we'll see. All right. The U.S. inquiry into the disaster at Pearl Harbor finds Admiral Kimmel, then the commander-in-chief of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, guilty of... Uh, I can't even read that. Uh, I hit court marshals announced later. Thailand sides with Japanese, declares war on England, USA. Japanese troops have begun operations in Solomon Islands. I really need to make this bigger, the UI bigger. With this 1440p monitor, this text is way too damn small. Yep, yeah, once I, I don't want to have multiple Silent Hunter series going at once because, uh, I was saying earlier, this is literally the most time-consuming game to record. And also with all the intros and stuff, I think doing two episodes of that a week, I would, I would be very, I would hate myself, quite frankly. So, uh, I think I might just do a streaming series. It'd be great. I've tried U-Boat, it looks to be a lot harder. Uh, I've tried it. I'm thinking I'll actually upload a video on U-Boat today. Or not today, this week. <laughs> First world problems. I don't have time to record my videos for the internet. Yeah, the f <laughs> I don't, not enough time to sit in front of my computer and talk to it. <laughs> Definitely a first world problem. My brand new monitor makes the text too small to read. <laughs> We're gonna come in here and pour in dock. Uh, let's postpone. I want to take a look at the port, guys. We got it. We got it in this the proper way. We have to enter our berth. Maybe. The game will let me. Whee! I just realized I've had it set on top chat, so I don't think I've even been seeing all the chat messages. Maybe I have, I don't know. There there's two filters I can do. I can do top chat and then like live chat. And I don't I don't know, man. I just work here. So if I haven't responded to your chats, I apologize. Blame YouTube. That's what everyone does anyway. All right, gonna slow down. Let's take a look. Oh, welcome to sunny Sarabaya. Oh, I think we're supposed to dock. Is that the subtender? That might be it right there, actually. Uh, it's a tanker. It's from New York. It's been here a while. 
Oh, it's come a long ways. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Quite a few ships. I'll soak it in. That's definitely the sub tender right there. And see the conning tower of something. A boat. Maybe a salmon class or something. A Sargo. Oh, there's an S boat. There's a little 50 cal on it. That's sweet. Well, that's the, that's gonna that's gonna end my adventures here. Let's go ahead and uh. Oh no, that's not how you do it in this game. In patrol. Yeah, I want to dock. All right, so we've completed all of our objectives. We sunk six merchant ships, the one warship for a total of 53,609 tons, and the submarine returned to base. Woot. Oh, I've gotten a Navy Cross for extraordinary heroism as commanding officer of the USS Pike during the two war patrols of that vessel. I've only been on patrol for one patrol. I've only had one war patrol. Maybe I had a shakedown patrol before it. That's how we'll uh, justify that. His outstanding display of leadership, devotion to duty, and aggressiveness reflect a great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Okie doke. January 28th, 1942, Surabaya, Java. All right. And uh, that's going to do it, it seems. That's going to end the stream. Let's go ahead and go to the main menu. All right. Welcome to Sarabaka in January 1942. Yeah, it's, it's, we're not going to be there long at all. Anyway, thank you guys. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, I know. That's definitely a high tonnage count. Uh, and I contributed that to our very reliable Mark 14s that we had. Um, I wonder if there's a way to make them less reliable. I would prefer that. Have a more authentic experience, but... Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been a very popular stream. 156 viewers at the very end of it. So, I don't even know what our peak was, but very good stream. I, this might have been my most popular one. I don't know. But uh, thanks to the wise guys. Thanks for tuning in at this awful hour. It's currently 118, but... I'll definitely, since this was so popular, I definitely will make plans to do a streaming series soon. So, uh, in this mod. I think that's a pretty good idea. But, uh, anyway, just consider this a one and off war patrol that was awfully successful. But, uh, yeah. I have, I have nothing else to add, so thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one.